More now on Egypt. One of the aspects of the crisis that has been difficult are the difficulties faced by journalists in reporting events as they see them. Shahira Amin is one of those journalists. Until she resigned in protest at what she says was one-sided reporting, she was one of the faces of the state-run English-language news channel Nile TV. She's been speaking to my colleague Lee Doucette in Cairo. Well, this crisis in Cairo now in its 10th day has been difficult and dangerous for journalists to cover. Many foreign journalists have been abducted, detained, beaten up, robbed, and pushed out of their hotels. But it's also been difficult for Egyptian journalists today. And today we received the news that the prominent anchor and senior correspondent, the deputy head of the state-run Nile TV, the English language satellite channel, decided to hand in her resignation. Shahira Amin joins us here now in Cairo. Shahira, why did you decide to give up your job at State TV? Hello, Liz. Well, f it was a spur of the moment decision. I was heading to work as usual and um, you know, the state television building is uh, not far from Tahrir Square, and I heard the chants of the protesters and decided to get off in Tahrir Square and join the protesters because I'm siding with the people, not the regime. And before that, had you been reporting on what was happening in Tahrir Square? We were not allowed to report on what was happening in Tahrir Square. I spent the whole day yesterday at Nile TV and we were just covering the pro Mubarak rallies which I thought was ridiculous and I don't want to be part of their propaganda machine um, uh, you know when the system doesn't suit you then just walk out and had it been that way throughout this entire time of protest you had been given strict orders on what you could or could not cover uh, absolutely from day one uh, we had to follow the rules and they were you know, it's very strict with us this time round. Usually it's not as bad, but with this incident in particular, we were told to say uh, certain things and to keep certain information from getting out. But this must have been the story of all of your time at, at state television, because you've been there for many years, and of course there's been much criticism by both Egyptian and international human rights groups about the restrictions on freedom of the press, freedom of expression. Um, absolutely, but it, it has always been a struggle for Egyptian journalists to get their story out. But uh, uh, I felt that with every story you could push the boundaries of uh, freedom of speech slightly higher, and I kept at it. And uh, it was like walking a fine line, Liz, so uh, that's why I stayed, because I felt that I was helping, you know, uh, push the boundaries a little bit. But of course, you are the face of Egypt externally as the satellite channel. Did you feel the pressure was was at its at its peak during these last ten days? Yes, maybe the pressure isn't so bad for Nile TV anchors because we broadcast in English, and there is um, more freedom uh, because your uh, your audience is a different audience. Uh, you don't get to the masses. It's worse for the the anchors who speak Arabic because then they're very limited in what they can say. Shahir Amin, thank you very much uh, for joining us here uh, on the BBC News to tell us uh, your story of why you just decided on the spur of the moment uh, to leave your job as an anchor and correspondent for the state television in English. Another sign of uh, the tensions, the pressures uh, building here in Cairo in the society. That was Lise Desert in Cairo, and we brought you up to date uh, with all those uh, major developments coming from Egypt. But of course, do stay watching BBC World News for more on this story. Next, it's Fast Track for the moment from me, Zainab Badawi. Goodbye.